right, today we're going to talk about how to use keto to balance your hormones, okay? Um, there's several reasons why keto is very, very good for the endocrine system. Number one, uh, you have to realize there's two sets of hormones. You have those hormones that are made from proteins, they're called peptide hormones, and then you have those hormones that are actually made from cholesterol, called steroid hormones. That's right. There's a whole series of set of hormones that are actually made directly from cholesterol. That's the raw material. Testosterone, all three estrogens, progesterone, growth hormone, cortisol, that's the stress hormone, aldosterone, DHEA. So by going on a keto plan, you are going to be doing higher amounts of fatty foods, especially healthy fats. So you're going to actually get the cholesterol you need as the raw material. The essence of keto, and especially intermittent fasting, is to lower insulin. There's a lot of benefits that happen when you lower insulin. One is you actually help balance androgens in females. There's a condition called PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, which occurs in females. And that is an androgen dominant situation. The excess androgens are making facial hair, loss of hair in your head, deeper voice. So in men, when you lower insulin, you actually raise testosterone. And the next point is that when you reduce insulin, you also reduce sympathetic dominance. So you improve adrenal function. Uh, many people are in this mode where they're in flight or flight all the time. Well, by lowering insulin, you take the person out of that state, that condition, and they feel very calm. And the next point I wanna talk about is when you're in ketosis, you're actually burning fat. You're removing visceral fat as well, and liver fat. You're improving a fatty liver. You're improving liver function. Now there's something in the liver, I'm not gonna get into the technical part of it, but there's something in the liver that binds certain hormones to keep them in check. It's like a buffer for hormones to make sure that you don't end up with excessive amounts of cortisol or estrogen dominance. And when you improve liver function, you're able to buffer these excesses more efficiently. Oh, let me just back up for a second. One more point I wanna bring up about insulin. When you lower insulin, you improve certain pituitary hormones as well. Luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone, the ratio of those two. Those are the two hormones that help regulate the ovary and the testicle. And when you decrease insulin, you improve these ratios right here. All right, the last point is that when I mention keto, I always mention the healthy version of keto, healthy keto. And one of the things that I recommend is uh, cruciferous vegetables. Cruciferous vegetables are unique in that they actually have the ability to detoxify endocrine disruptors. Now think about the endocrine system is the superior communication system. You have the gland that makes the hormone, that sends hormone, that gets received in a receptor, and it transmits back. So you have this whole communication thing going on. And endocrine disruptor is any chemical in the environment, whether it's pesticide, herbicides, insecticide, heavy metals, that can interfere with the receptors of certain hormones. By consuming cruciferous vegetables and other vegetables as well, you can actually lessen the amount of these poisons in your liver. Cruciferous vegetables help to detoxify these chemicals. And when you're doing organic, you're also decreasing the GMOs and the glyphosate, which is an herbicide. All right, guys, so I hope that made sense. And one thing I want to point out is that when you do keto, you also want to do intermittent fasting. I didn't even mention all the benefits from that, but those two together are essential for helping to balance your hormones. So if you like this video, go ahead and share it with someone that you know that can truly benefit from it. 